Hi, Assalamu alaikum and good day to everyone. Again, uh, today we are going to discover another uh, recipe with the best, the best uh, protein that we are going to use, which is meat. As uh, we have gone through in the previous slide uh, regarding on the basic understanding of meat and games. So today I'm going to show to you one of the most popular and favorite dish that been served and enjoyed around the world, not to mention in Malaysia as well, which is curry. So curry is one of the most popular dish in Malaysia since that we are living in a multi-ethnicity and India is one of them. So there will be a different varieties of curry as well according to the religion, uh, religion practice, uh, in terms of the spices used and also uh, block individual preference. So today I'm going to show to you the basic curries that have been served in Malaysia. Alright, uh, so today I'm going to show you the ingredient used for this uh, recipe. Very simple and easy to get from the local market. The first one is uh, chili. This is optional. If you want to make it spicy, you can always add more spice uh, chili. And this is uh, curry leaves, which is, will give the very uh, the, the smell, I mean the aroma. The aroma will contribute to the flavor of the dish. And then we do have here, what we do have here is um, the star anise and then we have the cardamom and we have clove and the cinnamon and some uh, turmeric uh, to add on to the flavor, to make it uh, the flavor of the, uh, the curry uh, become deep and uh, spicy. Yeah? And then what we have here, another one is um, uh, blended onion and then we have what we have here is uh, the curry powder which is to be turned into paste before we uh, we cook it and then have fresh tomatoes to give the tanginess of the of the curry and then what we have here is the grind uh, it's a blended Blend the chili paste to give uh, the, the deep uh, spicy taste and then I'm going to show you uh, since that we are going to make a wet curry so I'm going to use uh, coconut milk and what we have here as well the, some sugar and salt as a, as a, to, as a season, seasoning and what we have here as well is the fabricated, uh, fabricated uh, meat, all right, uh, which can always can get it and very accessible in the local markets. So let's go on how to cook it. Let's take a look on how to cook it. It's very simple, very straightforward. As long as you already done the mise en place, and the uh, cooking procedure will be faster. Yeah. And then we put the palm oil and heat it. I prefer to put uh, a little bit uh, more of oil because uh, to make sure that the paste that you're going to put out right after will be nicely fried. And then you put the onion. Love the sound of cooking, very therapeutic for me. And I'm pretty sure that some of you will just like me. And then I put the whole curry leaf inside. Some people will just put the leaf, but I prefer to put with the uh, everything in. Because you can smell now, very, very appetizing. And then I put chili inside and saute it. And then tomatoes will give uh, the tanginess uh, that makes the 
to change the flavor of the curry balance. Remember that we, in Asian cooking, balance change is the most things or the priority things that we need to do. Uh, to prioritize, yeah? After you can see that the, the, the oil is start to float uh, at the surface, which means that it's good to go for the next uh, ingredient, which is chili paste. This is optional, you can put it more if you want to make it spicier. So I, I add in a little bit of water to make this curry powder as a paste, so it's easier for you to, to stir. Now when it looks good, then you can put the curry paste inside. Some people, uh, this is the four spices that we are going to use cardamom, clove, uh, star anise, and as well, uh, and the cinnamon. Some people uh, prefer to put it first, but for me, I prefer to put later on because I'm the, because uh, if you put too long, it's, for me, uh, you, will, you will taste a little bit, a very subtle bitter that you can taste from, from it because it gets burned easily. So I put it later. And just stir it. Okay. Now you can see it looks perfect. And it's a, it's a signal that you can put your meat inside. All right. Alright, uh, as you can see here, it looks good, it looks good, so it means it's good to go to the next ingredient, which is the coconut. If you are doing the wet curry, coconut, or, uh, coconut milk will be the ingredient that you need to add, but if you are doing uh, the dry curry, this option, either you want to put it or not, uh, can be done. Alright. I'm going to add in some water. And slow down your heat. Let it simmer. Okay, because you want to make sure that your meat is uh, fully cooked and tender. The longer you cook your meat, you cook it, the longer you cook it, the tender it will become. Then I put some uh, sugar to give the sweetness and some salt as a seasoning. And it's done the most celebrated recipe that we enjoy throughout the world, beef curry. <laughs>